Hey everyone, my name is Daniel, and in today's video, let's take a look at all the enhancements for the Power Platform Admin Center. Now, I had the privilege of being in the early private preview of these enhancements, so I had a look at it and I gave feedback to the product group. However, it was now officially announced at Microsoft Ignite, and there was even a theater session that was led by Zohar. Zohar is the group product manager that oversees the entire Power Platform Admin Center. Also, you will now have access to it. So if you go to your Power Platform Admin Center, you will see that toggle switch that shows up on the top right. You can turn it on and have first-hand experience of all of these features. So without further ado, let's jump into it. But first, here's my intro video. So let's get started. In order to go to the Power Platform Admin Center, aka PPAC, for your Microsoft365.com, on the top left, you have the App Launcher, also known as the Waffle icon. When you go and select it, go to either your Power Automate or your Power Apps. Once you are there, on the top right, you see the Settings bar. When you go and select it, here you can select your Admin Center. And that takes you to this website, which is the admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. Now, once you are here in your tenant, if you don't already have it, it will soon arrive, is this feature. It says, try the new admin center. And here you can simply toggle it on and see all of these enhancements. So now that you've seen this, what I'm gonna show you is some side-by-side -side comparison of what the current feature is and with this new enhancement that is there. So let's take a look at that. So the first thing I noticed was the left vertical navigation its overall size has decreased significantly, but in a good way, because now there is actually a second level which is also there in the new piece, but we'll take a look at that in a minute. So here on the left side, you see that we've got the new navigation, the main navigation on the new Power Platform Admin Center, and it has some new names. For example, there is action, there is manage, there's monitoring, but these are all the ones that you see. However, it's good to see what the current one is. You see on the right over here, you can actually see that there are some drop down menus as well. Example being analytics, billing, resources, policies, admin centers. These are all drop downs. And that sometimes can be a little bit of a nuisance because then you've got to go ahead and do some scrolling and your screen size needs to be a little big. But all of that hassle has been taken away because there is no longer the drop down functionality. So this was the first thing I noticed. But as we go deep into each of these, I've noticed that either the name has changed or just the location has changed. However, the features are still there. So I do like that because the change is not a massive change. We are still able to see the features that we are used to. What we have to do is actually find them. And in a few minutes, I'll show you a trick on how you can find all these existing settings in an easy way. But let's go through them step by step first. So for example, on the bottom right, the advisor section that we are used to, which is comes with recommendations and action history, that still exists. However, the name has changed. What used to be advisor is now called as action, but inside action, you still have the recommendations and the action history. And this was what I was talking about, is that don't be alarmed. The enhancement right now is for the navigation piece, but all the settings that you are used to seeing, all the places that you're comfortable going, those are still there. And here's an example of it. In fact, let's take a look at a few more. The big one is environments. Power Platform admin people need to know what their environments are. So on the right, that shows a screenshot of the current Power Platform Admin Center. Below home is environments and environments group. However, on the left side, which is the new navigation piece, it all falls under manage. And I like this because manage is what the admins need, a group of all of these settings to Power Platform Admin Center. So on the left side, under manage, we've got environments, environments, group, tenant settings, data preview, all of these things. And there's also the inventory, but I'll talk about that in a few minutes as well. So let's continue. Same thing here. On the right is the current setting that we're looking at, and it's called settings. And when you select it, the actual settings is called as tenant settings. This entire section is on the left side. See, on the new one, it falls under manage, the one I just talked about. But in manage, you have tenant settings. But to take it one step further, I actually did a side-by-side -side comparison of both the tenant settings, the new one as well as the old or current, whatever you call it. And I made sure that all 24 of the current settings are there in the new one as well. 
So this is what I was talking about is that it just changes the location a little bit to make it a little bit more easier to access it, but you haven't lost anything. And here's an example. All the 24 settings which were there in the old is currently there in the new as well. And similar to manage, you also have a centralized location for licensing. So on the left, you saw that there used to be something called as billing plans. However, that has now moved into a group called as licensing. And in licensing, you have pay as you go plans, capacity add-ons, settings, and so on and so forth. This is how it is. So again, you haven't lost it, but it has been put together in a different location. And just like billing plans, the same thing for capacity. On the left is where capacity is currently right now, under resources. However, in the new one, it is there under licensing, and that is where you go and see your capacity add-ons. It is called legacy because there's gonna be some more improvements to it. However, it has just been moved from the resources which you see on the left over to the licensing section. So what I showed you were just features that are already existing, they just have been relocated. However, there are some new things that are coming out as well. And this is the first thing that caught my attention. So under the manage, you have an inventory. And here you can immediately get an overview of all the environments and the items in your tenant. And the items includes the canvas apps and the model driven apps, the cloud flows and the desktop flows, any of the pages and all the agents. In one central location, you can see all of them. So in the screenshot, you can see that I have 11 environments and a total of 713 items, which is a collaboration of my apps, cloud flows and agents. And this overall view is very important because let's face it, if you're coming in fresh in Power Platform, you may not have even heard of the Center of Excellence Toolkit. You may not have installed it, configured it, and you don't have an oversight in everything. However, that was just something in the past. Now, right off the bat, at least you have this view. As long as you are a Power Platform admin person with the role, you can come in and get an overview of all the activities. Then you can double click into it, and it's also best that you get the center of excellence set up, but over here, at least in the beginning, you've got an overview of all the items in your tenant. So let me show you how this inventory section works. Again, it is under the manage, inventory and it's called as a maker inventory and this gives you an overview of all the items across all the environments so you can see in my case i have 11 environments 11 total number of environments and 713 items these items include any of my cloud flows canvas apps model driven apps agents everything and if you want to filter just based on that that's completely fine on the header of that column select it click on it and now you've got these filter options you select it click on apply and now that you see that it has this icon which tells me that this one has been filtered but it's not just like that I can only select one I can go and select other ones as well so not only canvas apps but I want to see model driven apps click on apply and now I can see a copy of them it also tells me that the total number of items has increased and once you're done viewing it from this filter go ahead click over here and clear all the filters so you can actually see it and you can do this mix and match. If I go on to select it over here, I can go and do the canvas app, but then I can canvas app, click on apply. The created one, I can go ahead and change those dates so you can actually really drill down and see exactly what you're looking for. Really helpful from this standpoint. All right, not only can you do filter, but you can do a search as well. So for example, I want to take a look at an app that I have, something with the name Lego. So on the search, I'll just come in and type in Lego and voila, it is telling me that I've already got some cloud flows over here. And you see the term Lego doesn't have to be right at the front. In this case, in this display name, it's right over here in between. Same thing at the bottom as well. It is right towards the end. So the search is actually pretty good because it gives me all of this information. And in my case, it was only for the cloud flow. However, in your scenario, it might be somewhere else. And even over here, it's telling me that something to do with Lego, which in this case is the cloud flow, is across two environments. And of the 713 items that you have, seven of them are something to do with Lego. So the search piece also works really well. All right, so in this inventory section, you can look at your entire tenant across all the items. However, if you want to go ahead and break down at an item level, then you go under products. So for example, if I wanna just take a look at power apps, all right, my canvas apps and model driven apps, I select power apps. And over here, it has automatically done the filtering for me. Now it is telling me across the 11 environments, you have 418 apps that are to do with Power Apps. And over here, again, same thing. I've got the filter functionality. I've got the search functionality. 
I can do the same thing for Power Automate. In my case, all my workflows are across six different environments. And over here too, I can go and do a search. If you are a user of Power Pages, you can come and select Power Pages over here. You can take a look at your sites or even go and do an analytics preview. The preview piece actually is the Power BI directly embedded in over here to give you from that reporting standpoint. Also, if you have Dynamics 365 apps, you can come and take a look at over here. And you can also come over here and take a look at all the agents which you must have built using your Copilot Studio. Also, one of the things I heard from the product group again and again is that, Daniel, this is not a one-time ship to production and forget about it. They are going to now release enhancements and improvements on a regular basis. And this is what caught my attention. So if you go into your licensing and settings, they've already put this placeholder. And who knows, when you're watching this video, items may already have been put in over here. And so this gives me warm feelings in my heart because more and more enhancements and more and more releases are going to come out into this Power Platform admin, which makes our admin life so much more easier. So here is a trick that I learned, which I want to share with you, which will help you get comfortable with this new Power Platform admin center, especially the navigation. So if I toggle back into the current view or the old view, whatever you call it, Say I want to go and come to my settings and take a look at some of my settings over here, all right? Either the customer lockbox or the environment routing. The important thing is while you are here in that location, go ahead and toggle it on. And moment you do that, you will remain in this location, but it gives you a good overview of where to find it. So for example, right over here, again, we are at the environment routing, we are at the customer lockbox, but for me to find it, I will come to the manage and I'll come to the tenant settings. And this quickly tells me how to go ahead and find it. And the same thing for other scenarios as well. All right, let's just go and say that I toggle this off um, and I want to go into my resources. I want to take a look at my capacity. While you are here, go ahead and toggle this one on and it'll immediately show you the navigation to this in the new PPAC Center, which is right over here. You go into the licensing and then under the licensing, it's about the capacity add-ons. So this is something that really helped me to learn where these existing settings, because these are settings which are very important to me, but now I have a quick way to find where it is in the new place, just so that I get comfortable with it, because I'm pretty sure I'll eventually get used to it, but this was a quick way for me to find out where it is, and I'm hoping that this will help you as well. Keep in mind that in the near future, this is going to become the new normal. So if the feature is already available in your tenant, turn it on, and if it is not, just wait patiently and keep an eye to see when that toggle switch appears. So hopefully this video was useful to you and hopefully gets you excited, not just for where the navigation has changed to, but also some of the new features that have come out. And as always, keep using Power Platform. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go ahead and put in a comment Either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.